Pablo Picasso. He was a famous painter. He was born on October 25, 1881, in Malaga, Spain. His father's name was Don Jose Ruiz y Blasco, and mother's name was Maria Picasso y Lopez. His father was a painter and arts teacher by profession. Mentored by his father, he, by the age of 13, surpassed senior Picasso in terms of skill and talent. In 1895, his family relocated to Barcelona, Spain, and enrolled at the prestigious School of Fine Arts. But the strict rules of the school frustrated him, and he began skipping classes to wander on streets of Barcelona and sketching whatever he observed. In 1897, he moved to Madrid to attend the Royal Academy of San Fernando. However, here too the strict rules and formal instructions irked him to the extent that he stopped attending classes. He moved around the lanes of Madrid, observing and painting what appealed his vision. He visited the Prado Museum to see paintings by famous Spanish painters. Returning to Barcelona in 1899, he found himself to be a part of a group of artists and intellectuals who made their headquarters at a café called El Cuadraguetz. It was during this time that he moved away from his classical methods to indulge avant-garde art. With Paris deemed as the world center for avant-garde art, it was only natural for him to relocate to the city. As such, at the turn of the century, he moved to Paris to be at the epicenter of the world of art. He opened an art studio in Montmartre, Paris. He applied various techniques during his period, starting from the blurred technique to divisionism and expressionism. Some of his famous paintings of this period include Blue Nude, La Vie, and The Old Guitarist. Most of his paintings were of circus people, acrobats, and harlequins. Additionally, his works showcased the warm relationship that he shared with Fernand Olivier. In 1907, he along with his friend George Brack came up with a remarkable work that none until then had ever painted. Including sharp geometric shapes, Les Demoiselles de Vignan showcased five nude prostitutes, abstracted and distorted with glaring blotches of blues, greens and greys. The work became the precursor and inspiration of Cubism, an artistic style that the two invented. The Cubist style employed by him in his works became a revolutionary movement in the art world. Some of his memorable paintings of this era include three women, bread and fruit dish on a table, girl with mandolin, still life with chair caning and card player. The changing panorama of the world, which was at the juncture of World War I, brought about the next change in his art form. From the abstract and the distorted form, he moved to depicting the somber reality of the world in his works. In his lifetime, he married twice, first to a ballerina, Olga Koklova in 1918. They blessed with a son the two separated ways in 1927. Some of his neoclassical works that depict his return to realism in the period from 1918 to 1927 include Three Women at the Spring, Two Women Running on the Beach or the Race, and The Pipes of Pan. The Harlequin was replaced by Minotaur as the common motif in his work and the works of other surrealist painters. His most outstanding and notable work of this time was the Guernica. Guernica stands as a testament for the brutality, inhumanity, and vicious nature of war. At the end of World War II, he turned to politics. He joined the French Communist Party 
and attended the International Peace Conference in Poland. However, critical comments for his Stalin painting lessened his interest in politics, though he remained a loyal member of the Communist Party. However, the couple was not legally divorced, and the marriage ended only in 1955, after Kiklova's death. Post Kiklova's death, he was into a romantic relationship with Marie Therese Walter. He fathered a daughter from the relationship. He then married Jacqueline Roque in 1961, at the age of 69. With her, he had two children. He breathed his last on April 8, 1973, in Maugens, France. Art is the lie that enables us to realize the truth, said Pablo Picasso.